drawing and labeling the right tympanic membrane is repeatedly being asked so this is the right tympanic membrane and we know its postero superior part is tilted outwards so anterior and posterior and first of all there is this handle of malleus and along with that we can remember it is called as the lateral process of malleus so there is handle of malleus and lateral process of malleus and then there is the sharpness membrane which is the pars flaccida which is located peripherally then there is the anterior malleolar fold and posterior malleolar fold now now on the andro superior quadrant we can find the shadow of the eustachian tube so there is a shadow of eustachian tube now we know there will be a cone of light which is the light getting reflected on the tympanic membrane now the central region of the tympanic membrane is known as pars tensa like the that of the pars flaccida posteriorly we can find the shadow of the round window so anteriorly it was eustachian tube and posteriorly it was round window and then in the postero superior part there will be the shadow of the incudostepedial joint the shadow of incudostepedial joint so once again peripherally sharpness membrane and to the center the pars tensa the handle of malleus the lateral process of malleus anterior and posterior malleolar folds and then the shadow of eustachian tube the cone of light shadows of round window and incudostepedial joint